Church. Praise the Lord. First of all, I thank God for this opportunity God has given me to share the word of God with you. And thank God for this wonderful day that we are together able to worship Him with our, our truth and our spirit. Let us go to the straight word that is Isaiah 46 verse 3 and 4. Isaiah 46 verse 3 and 4. <clears throat> Listen to me, descendants of Jacob, all you who remain in Israel, I have cared for you since you were born. Yes, I carried you before you were born. I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age. I made you, I'll care for you, I'll carry you as alone and save you. To whom will you compare me? Thank you. <clears throat> a wonderful insurance, a wonderful assurance by God to the people who remained Israel. It is not for the all Israelis, it is written those who remained. The word remained is very important here. That is, it is an uh, opportunity, it is a providence from the God provided to the people who remain in Him, those who remain in Christ. There were so many Israelites, those who walk along in the path of the jungle, and many of them murmured, many of them groaned, and they were making uh, displeasure. We are not having this thing, we are not eating this thing, that thing. Rather, God provided them all, but God was at wrath with them. And many of them, above the age of 20 years, they died during the course of voyage. Only those who were left less than 20, they were able to make it out to the promised land. It was God's plan to create a man. It was not our will or not man's desire that I should be born. Neither it is within our hands that we are born. It is all God's plan. Psalm 139 itself says, before creating myself and yourself in the womb of a mother, he knows me and you. <coughs> I shall repeat those words in Hindi. I to apne banaye jane ko janta hoon. जब मैं गुप्त में बनाया जाता और पृथ्वी के नीचे स्थानों में रचा जाता था तब मेरी हड्डियां तुझसे छुपी न थी तेरी आंखों ने मेरे बेडोल तत्व को देखा और मेरे सब अंग जो बनते जाते थे दिन-दिन बनते जाते थे वो रचे जाने से पहले तेरी पुस्तक में लिखे हुए थे माय डेज वेयर रिटन बिफोर आई वाज फॉर्मड इन द वॉम ऑफ माय मदर सो इट वाज द डिजायर ऑफ द लॉर्ड टू मेक अ मैन एंड टू हैव अ कंपेनियन विद हिम and as the brother James said, he wanted us to be in fellowship of the Lord. He wanted us to praise him. So, he just took out his people and he wanted them to be in his company. And today we are in his company, praising him, pondering over the word of God. And that is why a blessed assurance is given to the people, those who remain in Christ, those who remain in Jesus, you will be blessed right from the word go that you are born in the mother's womb, created, born on earth and right up to your hairs are grey, they are white and you are leaving the earth. Even after that earth, I am having an arrangement for you for an eternal life. If you remain in me, you will have an arrangement after this sojourn also, you will be with me for eternal life, for eternity. So God's plan is wonderful right from creation. Even before that, he knew us and he has a plan for us that always, forever, we should remain with him. But the one thing is there, you have to remain in Jesus. You have to remain in God. We have to fear him. We have to follow him. And we have to go by the rules written by the word of God, in the word of God. What he has said, 
फॉलो दोज रूल्स इट इज समाइम्स इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फॉलो द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड बिकॉज सेटन ब्रिंग्स सो मैनी अट्रैक्टिव थिंग्स बिफोर ए मैन वी आर लिवर्ड बाय दोज थिंग्स समटाइम्स वी कॉम्प्रोमाइज समटाइम्स वी फॉरगेट द थिंग्स ऑफ द जीजस एंड समटाइम्स वी face our back to the jesus and go different way and that is the way of the sin that is the way of the satan god doesn't want us to go that way he always want us to remain on the path of the jesus christ so those who are remaining in christ they will be blessed like birds <clears throat> i will carry you as i carry my granddaughter she feels very safe in my lap and much more safe in mother's lap what a safety it is that like that safety we feel in the lap of the lord and he says i will take you i will carry you throughout the journey of your life right from the creation in the womb up to the eternity remain in me and just for remaining that we are gathered here we are practicing all these things we are following the rules of jesus christ but we are human being god has given us the desire freely that you decide your own choose your own he has not created created us to be a robot say yes sir no like an army man we are not supposed to say yes sir we have given our own choices but god has given us the spirit of discernment wisdom and st- understanding you just think over it the way you should go you should just think over it and choose the path which one is beneficial to you mind one or the satan one there are only two ways the one of the lord and one of the satan either of the way we have to go and that is within our hands it is our purview to choose the way which way we want to go if you want to remain in the christ definitely we are going to have eternity with jesus christ praising him all the time there will be no death no disease no destruction simply life 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 light 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 no darkness no disease no death no pain no sorrows nothing else simply praising the lord of god lord of lords and god of gods so this is the assurance given by the god to the israelites and the same thing is given to us also now it is on our part we have to be faithful to the lord according to the, his desires whatever he says we have to follow that sometimes we may falter being a man definitely we falter and as the bible says in romans 10:23 all have sinned and they fall short of the glory so definitely we are sinners we have falters many a times but equally jesus christ says i forgive you 70 times 7 7 times 70 multiply that one more and more day and day day and night i just forgive you if he would have not forgiven us perhaps i would have not remain here lamentation 321 very beautifully says we are not consumed because of his great compassion his mercies are renewed every morning every morning we get up with the new mercies with the new forgiveness with the new days with the new blessing because he is a merciful god slow to anger and always loving one so these are the encouraging words for us right from the childhood to the end of the life god is there to look after us he is there to take care of us if you remain in him you are very much sure you are safe and secure in jesus name amen thank you